Hello, welcome to my room. Let's see. If you can see, this is the MacBook. For when everything breaks down on the lights kind of sucky, but when the MacBook decides to misbehave, I've got a keyboard and mouse hooked up there, sitting around. But other than that, I've got optical audio out to the stereo and VGA out to the TV. So I'm going to turn the TV on. TV takes forever to turn on. Okay. And. I normally keep Xbox media center not running because it gets a little noisy, the MacBook. But I turn it on just by hitting the menu button on here. Don't even have to use the mouse or keyboard. Don't need to use that at all. And then there's the menu. I'm get closer on this. You can see what's going on. So you've got the clock and the weather up there. You can change that out how you like. And then, uh, General, usual stuff. And that's all the configuration. You can get movies and TV shows. I turned off music because I, because of Zune doesn't like it. But this is the new skin I have installed on here for TV shows, which is, which is 99% anime on here. But it supports all kinds of TV shows. It doesn't care what it is. So let's see. I mean, we're looking, you know, there's Bears Band of Brothers. And these actually come from different sources. This is all going through network sharing to my com desktop computer in another room. It's all running over Wi-Fi and it doesn't lag at all. Um, these are actually, the Band of Brothers is actually DVD rips. And even though there's like five episodes on a disc, it recognizes that and organizes it so you can, each, you can play each one individually. And still recognizes that. And then for anime, where I downloaded the sub versions, yeah, it'll do that, and it'll play the subtitles just fine. It these are 1080p, so and it even does resuming. You can see where it actually yeah, I had played this before, and it keeps track of that with the blue arrows, which ones you've watched. And I can just start it from the beginning, and it'll start over. And that's gonna get all nice and fan hot here while it loads up the video. There it goes. 1080p takes a little while to buffer in. Other than that, as you see, there's no stuttering. I don't know if it's hard to see on the YouTube, but it's not stuttering at all. And the clicking sound is my stereo playing it over optical out. And it will do it will do uh, Dolby Digital and DTS and all that fa fancy stuff for DVDs as well. It doesn't care. And then. I can hold play. I'm doing all this with the remote, by the way. Just this little thing. That's all. I'm doing everything with this. So I can go back and forth. If I need to do that, I can change all the settings. Bookmarks, audio settings. It gets very detailed if you want. Change the subtitles and all that stuff. And then video settings and stuff. If I want to do that. If your PC is more powerful, you can do more filtering stuff. Blah, 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 blah. And then, of course, you can hit menu to back out. Takes you back to the main menu back out again that's just an example and it picks up all these backgrounds and stuff automatically and uh, there's actually multiple selections for most of these so you can actually go and pick different backgrounds for a lot of your TV shows and it'll even do um, say it shows seasons so it'll do that and it actually gives little pictures from the, each episode and synopsis for that as well it does all that automatically it scans in the shows as long as the shows are somewhat named somewhat decently it will pick that up and organize it for you and movies is pretty much the same thing. Organizes it all. I have Casino Royale in here twice because of Blu-ray and DVD version, I believe. I have that a couple times, I think. Now, I, I, I don't think that that's so new. It's not even. It doesn't have database information yet for wallpapers, but lots and lots of stuff. So that's that. And then um, there's actually. See if I can remember where it is. Yeah, scripts. No, I'll take this one. No, I don't want to plug in. Let's see. Oh, 
that's right. I think it's under TV shows, actually. If I go to... Anyway, there's another section you can go to to get downloads for plugins and stuff like that. I'm not going to bother looking for it because I don't use it low enough. But you can download plugins, new skins, and stuff right on the thing. And tons of settings. I won't go do detail, but there's skin settings, regular settings, profiles, and all that nonsense. And uh, it, it does pictures and movies and stuff um, and music. I mean, I don't know what else to describe, but, but that's pretty much it. All with a slow remote on the MacBook. Through my HDTV. That's it. Surround sound. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I'll just shut it down.